understanding human behavior, and how to effectively change it are crucial goals that have wide-ranging applications. From supporting individuals with special needs, to optimizing workforce productivity, analyzing behavior through a scientific lens and developing evidence-based interventions can significantly improve lives. Two frameworks that take such an empirical approach are Applied Behavior Analysis, also known as ABA, and Organizational Behavior Management, also known as OBM. OBM is a subdivision of ABA. While both seek to apply behavioral principles, ABA and OBM differ in important ways, namely their target populations and intended outcomes. As organizations and clinicians look to data-driven methods for addressing behavioral challenges, it is important to distinguish ABA and OBM given their distinct purposes. This video will explore the key similarities and differences between these two influential behavioral science approaches. The purpose of this video is to create a visual essay illuminating how ABA and OBM are both alike. The goal of this video is to grant viewers with valuable insight for utilizing these scientific frameworks. Applied Behavior Analysis is defined by the Behavior Analyst Certification Board 2014, also known as the BACB, as a scientific approach for discovering environmental variables that reliably influence socially significant behavior and using that knowledge to help people develop new behaviors. According to Cooper, Heron, and Heward, 2020, ABA was originally developed for use with children and adults with developmental disabilities and autism, but has expanded to other populations now as well. Primary goal of ABA, written by Bayer, Wolf, and Risley, 1968, is to use behavioral principles and empirical methods to assess behavior and develop individualized interventions to increase adaptive behaviors and reduce challenging behaviors. In contrast, Organizational Behavior Management, OBM, focuses on applying behavioral principles to organizations to improve workplace productivity, safety, and employee well-being. OBM examines the relationship between environmental variables within organizations and employee behavior to design interventions. Found in Mallet 2003, unlike ABA which targets individuals, OBM interventions are aimed at groups of employees within an organization. Common applications of OBM include improving customer service, increasing task completion rates, reducing errors and injuries, and enhancing job satisfaction. One key difference between ABA and OBM lies in their approaches to assessment and measurement. According to Cooper and the rest 2020, ABA interventions are developed based on functional behavioral assessments, which identify the environmental events influencing an individual's targeted behaviors. Functional analyses are then conducted to test hypotheses about behavioral function. In contrast, OBM relies more on organizational analyses to identify workplace variables impacting employee performance, like feedback and incentives, rather than taking an individualized functional approach. OBM also uses group design research methods, whereas ABA commonly employs single subject experimental designs with repeated measurement of individual behavior. Another difference relates to the types of behaviors targeted. According to Bayer and the rest 1968, ABA focuses on socially significant behaviors that are important to learn or change for an individual such as communication, self-care, social and academic skills, as well as challenging behaviors. In contrast though, OBM targets workplace behaviors directly tied to organizational outcomes like productivity, safety, quality, and costs. To elaborate, behaviors addressed in OBM interventions include attendance, task completion, customer service interactions, and safety compliance rather than developmental or clinical behaviors. In summary, ABA and OBM are both valuable scientific frameworks that leverage behavioral principles and applied research methods to enact positive change. However, their targets and intended impacts differ based on addressing either individuals or organizations. Basically, OBM's overarching goal is to boost organizational performance by identifying workplace variables, influencing employee behaviors tied to important outcomes and designing group level interventions. While they utilize similar methodology, ABA and OBM demonstrate how behavioral science can be specialized to achieve different yet important purposes. Distinguishing these frameworks provides clarity for professionals utilizing ABA or OBM to appropriately match assessment strategies and targeted behaviors to intended populations. Overall, ABA and OBM exemplify how behavioral approaches can be adapted to meaningfully address diverse challenges through empirical data-driven methods. My name is Troy, everyone. If you liked today's video, please smash that like button, subscribe to help the channel, and turn on notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss a video.